Hello. In today's video, we're going to tackle an important element in the world of Apple device management, the Apple APNS certificate. First off, APNS stands for Apple Push Notification Service. It's a platform notification service created by Apple that allows third-party app developers to send push notifications to iOS users. APNS is a crucial part of mobile device management as it allows these solutions to send commands to Apple devices. So what does the certificate do? Simply put, the APNS certificate authenticates the identity of the application server, in this case Intune, and establishes an, encrypt an encrypted connection between it and the APNS service. The certificate ensures secure communication between the MDM solution and the Apple devices themselves. When you use Intune as the MDM, you need to upload the APNS certificate to Intune. This way Intune can send commands to the Apple devices through the APNS. We should mention that this certificate needs to be renewed annually, so don't forget. Let's quickly walk through getting an APNS certificate uploaded to Intune so we can manage our iOS devices. From the Intune console, we'll head to Devices, down to iOS, and iOS Enrollment, and you can see the prerequisite for any iOS management is an Apple MDM push certificate. That is also known as the APNS certificate. So we're going to scroll down here and we've got a couple of things to do. We need to grant permission to Microsoft to send information to Apple, which we've already done because of the previous video where we created the VPP token, but never mind. We're going to download the CSR, which is a certificate signing request. And once that's done, we will create the MDM push certificate within Apple Business Manager. So heading over to Apple Business Manager, it takes you to this slightly different looking website than the normal Apple Business Manager, because this technically isn't Apple Business Manager. This is slight, something slightly different. You just need a, an Apple ID in order to do this. You don't need a managed Apple ID. So I'm just gonna log in. Now that we're logged in, you can see I've got quite a few in my portal. You will likely have something like this if you've used Apple push notification service before. If you haven't, it'll probably be empty, but that's not a problem. We just need to create a certificate. Forget these ones that already exist. If you're not using them, don't worry. If you've already got them and you're using it and you need to renew, then obviously take a look at renewing it. That's a different video. But for now, I'm gonna create a new certificate and just pretend these ones don't exist. I'm gonna create a cert, read the terms and conditions. I've previously read them, obviously, in great detail. You need to do that before you click, I've read the terms and conditions and then we'll just choose accept. And here we need to upload that CSR, the signing request that Intune provided for us. I'm just gonna grab that from my downloads folder, choose upload. Now that we've done that, that's pretty much it from the Apple, Apple side. We just need to choose download. And once we've got that file downloaded, the PEM file downloaded, head back over to Intune and you can see the next step is just to enter in our Apple ID and add that MDM push certificate that we've just downloaded and choose upload. So it says the MDM push certificate was successfully created. And when I close this, you can see the rest of these icons here are now ready for me to use. We have the APNS certificate uploaded and ready to go. See you next time.